This is the Creo Transformers Creon Battle Changer Grimlock. The figure is part of the first wave of these new Creon Battle Changers uh, Creon figures based off their G1 characters that actually transform. So very, very nice. Nice packaging, great big instruction manual because you have instructions to build him and instructions to transform him. Um, when I first was building this, I thought it was going to be Fall of Cybertron Grimlock because of his sword. Apparently, it's just they just wanted to use the Fall of Cybertron sword for Grimlock. I think I could be wrong. Anyway, so it's, it doesn't even look like a sword. It looks like a banner or a scythe or whatever. Eh, not my favorite thing about them. However, um, uh, you know what? Look at that some quality issues off the bat um, misprinted uh, Autobot logo I don't know how to explain it how they actually botched that up but you can, there's no way for you to find out until you open it so if the store will allow you to open the packaging before you buy it please do so it's just some scotch tape some bit of a cello tape right there you can easily open it up but most stores don't ask you to open it anyway so kind of sucks that i have to do that I might have to get another one on or maybe on clearance so anyway this is not the official transformation but the the transformation is basically g1 the the feet transform into uh, into the tail part and you got the the sort of the wings that form this the neck of the dinosaur and the head and the arms are the legs of the dinosaur so this is how i transformed it in the instruction booklet it says to do this which is just oh i don't know these are loose very loose pieces i don't know why they are loose i've been trying to fix them or something but they're really meant to be supports uh, there's no way to connect them any easier and that even in the holes and these big circles, they, they don't fit very well. So it kind of sucks that you have to do that. But anyway, this is the official transformation. It's so back heavy. I don't think it's going to work. So I'm not going to, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. But that's the official transformation. It's definitely G1 Grimlock. And that's what they were going for, at least. Head sculpt is actually great. Uh, they used a side swipe helmet, but that doesn't matter. I mean, still looks great and he even has the claws as arms and you know one drawback with this because this being a creo arms it's going to be very small legs i wish they had beefed it up like the t-rex like how the uh g1 uh ver the g1 toy had I and mean, i'm sure it's going to be very easy to customize it but the the claws are the the dino claws the dino legs are very small which is a little bit disappointing for this guy in alt mode. Because I was really expecting this guy to be huge, I mean, beefy in, in alt mode. But in robot mode, as it is, he's pretty neat and very, very nice. The stickers they have on him makes him look like, like the G1. This one is so G1, but it's in the wrong place. They're using it as a heel support so he doesn't tip off. Well, tip, tip over. Tip off. Tip over. Like that. You still have to sort of bend him forward. But they're supposed to be here. For some reason, they're there. Anyway, articulation for the figure is basically the same as the other uh, Creo figures. Swivel neck, ball jointed shoulders and elbows, ball jointed hips, knees, and hinge ankles. I had forgotten to show a Bumblebee with Optimus in his robot mode. And as you can see, despite not being in scale in vehicle mode, they are very much sort of at least Bumblebee smaller in scale with Optimus Prime in robot mode. So that, that's pretty neat. Uh, very nice. And then Grimlock. Let's see if I can do this. All the way standing erect. He is about the same height as Optimus Prime, head to toe. Yep. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. Get these guys out of the way. <clears throat> So, detail on him, he's a little bit of a mustard yellow instead of a gold, a mustard gold. I was expecting to be more yellowish in gold, but that's what you get. They're very loose. I'm going to be pissed off with them. Transform this guy, just like G1. Go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to do this. Rotate like that. Rotate like that. 
close it, close the wings over his uh, head, just like the, uh, oh sorry, move it up, this, close it over his, oop, see this is the thing that Hasbro hasn't perfected, Not unlike Lego, Lego, Lego pieces are very tight, well at least most of them are. Fold the dino head like this. You get this really cute dino head with a very small jaw. I think I thought it was like, what? They're missing a piece? But had it made it bigger, it wouldn't work. Um, I think it works this way. Okay. The legs are going to be forming the tail. So, more like this, that. This one goes here, and then the tail goes out like that. Or something like that. Or, wait, maybe like that. Yeah, it's, instructions say to go all the way up like this. And these are just, yeah. Very, very fragile. He's short packed, apparently, in this case. There's only like two, two Grimlocks per case. Um, I don't know why. I would expect Starscream to be short packed, but he's the guy that's short packed. And uh, this is probably the reason why. Uh, okay, so he looks kind of like, more like Trypticon than... Uh, then Grimlock. Let's see if I can actually balance him on his feet. I was able to. Oh, there you go. Teeny tiny feet, and he's standing up. No way to store this except if you hold it here on his arms, or I, like what I do, I, I have him bite on it, and, uh, and becomes forward heavy. There you go. He can still stand. It's fine. Um, not necessarily my best. He's my least favorite of the entire wave, but it's definitely still a good figure. It's still going to get uh, an 8 out of 10 for me, simply because it's a great homage to the Geon version that crappy, with some quality issues, very loose, very loose pieces, and just an overall very clunky design on the robot mode and the alt mode. Robot mode is actually better than the alt mode, definitely. But the the, the uh, dino mode is a little bit of a disappointment. I wish it could have been better. Uh, but as it is, you know, this is as good as it gets. Um, maybe they'll do the other Dinobots. Who knows? Um, so there you go. Well, that's it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you did, please click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter for my toy purchase, Instagram for my toy sightings here in Manila. Check out all my video reviews on this channel. Chefatron, um, this has been the uh, Creo Transformers Creon Battle Changer Grimlock. Thanks for watching.